Ah, what's going on, you legends? I'm looking forward to this fight. Let's go. We got Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou happening tomorrow. This is interesting. As, as the fight gets closer, I'm getting more excited for it. I'm not as excited for this as I was for the Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis fight. Come on, let's be realistic here. But I am actually really looking forward to it. And also the fact that I'm going to be live streaming it. Ooh, I can't wait to have a little whiskey, sit back, have a bunch of you boys in the chat, talk some shit. And I'm just looking forward to watching what goes down with this event. So we had the press conference go down last night and I've heard a few things happen. What we're looking for here when we're analysing these videos is just a little bit of mental warfare. Is anyone going to expose the game plan a little bit more and give us a bit of an insight into how the fight's going to go down? By now, all the training is done and in the bag. The only things that can change the outcome of the fight from here on out is just the mental warfare side of things. And we know Tyson likes to rub people the wrong way. For the most part, it's being pretty respectful on this build-up because you're not going to get that out of Francis and Garno. He's very humble, yes, so I'm just happy to be here. And Tyson Fiore, you big dosser! I'm not good with accents. <laughs> so let's watch this and see if we can dissect it and get an insight into each other's game plans. Let's go. We have the father of Tyson Fury here, John Fury, and we have the man at the other end of the table who he named him after. Uh, John, let me just get your thoughts on this fight, this event, and what you're seeing here today. Mike Tyson's there, and there's Tyson Fury. What can you say? Great things happen in great places. Saudi Arabia. You've got the king of the 80s at the end there. You got my son, the king of the present. What can you say? And even me, I'm honoured and proud to be alive, first of all, and to be in this great place of Saudi and sat in the company of these great people. The Mike Tyson on the end made me son after, me son Tyson. But you know what? Give me a special mention. The man who bred him, John Fury. Fears no man. Fears no man on earth. No matter what they've done, no matter what the accolades, John Fury only fears one person, and he's not even of this world, that's God Almighty. Here I am! <laughs> Any man alive wants to fight John Fury, I'm here ready to go. Mike Tyson, what have you got to say to that, my brother? Hey, brother, I'm just looking forward to, for this fight to start. And when first when this came to me, I said, there's no way this is going to happen. And then I watched him spar. And listen, Spence was there too. He hit this guy, I don't know what spar, but some white guy, he hit him. And not only did he hit him, he broke his leg when he went down. And I said, man, there's a possibility something good could happen here. <laughs> Let me tell you, my brother. The world is going to see what's going to happen to your man. Your man will get his head boxed off and stopped at will, my brother. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. And if I'm wrong, me and you will fight straight after. Yeah! Yeah, man! Yeah, we're the great man! Whatever the outcome, me and you will fight. Oh, thank baby. Get on there, my brother. Uh, you got to love Mike Tyson's laugh, haven't you? He, he laughs like a little two-year-old. <laughs> Will someone just get John Fury a fight, please? Hey, Misfits, maybe on the next Influencer card you can get John Fury on there. I would 100% go and see that. In the new heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury, the man of all men, a man what can't be equal. Brad, my son, say, my son. Nganu. I said it right there, Tom. Nganu couldn't beat me, Mike. Nganu can't beat me, Bo. And I'm useless. Hey, what do you but I don't want to have a world. Maybe not your bed, your son. Bottle to burn. Bottle to burn. What did you say? I'm ready to go right said, now, my brother. I can beat him. I said maybe not him, but. John Fiori said, Francis and Garnu can't beat me, and I'm useless. <laughs> his son. You see you, my mate. Take the class off right now, my brother. I can beat him. I said maybe not him, but his son. You see you, my mate. Take the class off so I can see the fear in your eyes. Take your class off so I can see the fear in your eyes. Tell him, Tyson. Put it on him. No, I'm, I'm afraid of you. I'm still of you. But your son, I'll take you now. Well, your apology can be accepted and your man will have to apologise, so I'll take that as a good one. Good luck, because you're going to need it, my brother. You can see why every promotion wants John Fury up there on the stage. He brings a lot of entertainment. I see mixed comments. Some people hate John Fury. Some people love him. I personally love him. I just think he's hilarious. He's just unapologetically himself, which I appreciate. <laughs> tell us tell us about this fight, Francis and Garnier. Tell, tell us what it means. Oh, man. Where would I start? You'll be the death. <laughs> No, I think that's the end. Dream on, I'm mate. Dream like on. In his ass. Dream on, but Dream on. I think um, <laughs> Whatever pulls these this is a manifestation. <laughs> you know, this is a dream come true. And I remember four years ago, the first time that I met Mike Tyson right here, my, my only request was like, whenever I fight Tyson Fury, would you be in my corner? And uh, people thought I was losing it. I was crazy. It would never happen. That was many years ago, today. Too. Yes, that was four years ago. July 2019. Here we are. That fight is happening. And then, um, so I'm very excited. Manifestation! I'm, I'm living a dream, you know, <laughs> you have always been my dream, and never easy. 
Mike Tyson just loves coming out with the random shouts, doesn't he? Manifestation! <laughs> <laughs> that just reminds me of the clip where Mike Tyson is speaking to Dana White and Dana White mentions something to do with KSI and then Mike Tyson goes, KSI. <laughs> Logan Paul is, 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 uh, is a business, man. He, this kid's really mm. making some big moves. And KSI, too. Those, those, those kids are making real money and doing KSI. their thing. KSI. What's that? The KSI. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not sleep on Francis Ngannou. I know a few of you lads saying Francis Ngannou's going to get destroyed. He hasn't got a chance, not a chance in hell, all these comments. But I think that's a mistake. If I am the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, who was literally knocking every single person out into the shadow realm, he's got physicality. He's got that punching power. Has he got technique? Definitely not. But neither did Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder was still able to catch Tyson Fury a few times and put him on his ass. So let's not completely write off Francis here. All right, let's get an opening statement from Tyson Fury. Tyson and you've been involved in some historic moments in boxing, the Wilder Trilogy, 94,000 at Wembley Stadium. Where does this rank? It's absolutely unbelievable to be out here in the great kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And, um, and secondly, I've got Big Francis Ngannou to fight. Um, he's, a, he's a big man. He's a big man. And um, I see he's took a bit of advice from me with the clothes he's wearing. He's looking a bit snazzy. <laughs> um, they say the, the finest form of flattery is imitation. And he's got his suit on with no shirt on, and I started that. So he's imitating. And there's one thing I will say is many will imitate, but not one will ever replicate. Because yeah. there's only one Gypsy King. Yeah. True words, never spoken. <laughs> Francis, are you trying to imitate Tyson Fury? No, I'm trying to replicate Tyson Fury. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good. And Tyson, how do you prepare for a guy like this? How do I prepare for a guy like this? It's pretty difficult, but in America we say, a statement like this. I'm gonna knock a motherfucker out. <laughs> and that's how we do it. That's how we do it. And I've been working with Sugar Hill. No <laughs> Why did no one laugh there? I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> knock him out cold on Saturday night. And I've no doubt in my mind that I will knock him out. Um, he's a big strong guy. Obviously he's got a good punch, powerful. So am I. I'm a big strong guy, obviously powerful, or else I won't be world heavyweight champion. But I believe there's levels to the game. And He's going to find out my level on Saturday night. Now, Tyson's right that all levels to the game, but it's almost like Tyson is slightly dismissive of Francis's power. He acknowledges it, but then he also says, yeah, but I'm also a big heavy puncher. They're not really in the same category as each other. Tyson Fury hasn't got that one-punch knockout power. Has he got power? Yeah. None of us would like to take a punch from him. Hell no. But as I say, he hasn't got that nuclear bomb that people like Francis Ngannou, Deontay Wilder have. Talk about this. What has this camp been like? What has the relationship been like? And Francis, what's the advice been like that you've got from these wise heads around you? Let's talk about it. Well, uh, this camp been, um, honestly, this camp, this camp been different from my past camps. You know, um, it's a different experience, it's a different beast. And uh, I was aware that there was a uh, mountain in front of me. So that's why we started the camp very earlier. And um, it's been going good. But, you know, uh, having uh, somebody like Mike Tyson around, even my coach here, Joey Cooper, that was very helpful. Um, in terms of like approaching this fight, you know, uh, when you have something like this, when you have to take a tree down, you find a better hatches for it. Couple things there to address. Francis said that his camp has been a lot longer. It's only been a little bit over three months. And as I was saying in the other videos, that's not really going to be enough to completely change his style. It might give him a little bit more of like a killer instinct. But I believe if Francis is going to get the job done, it's not going to be on the inside like Mike Tyson is showing him how to do. It's going to be one of his big wing and punches that he's going to catch Tyson Fury with. Francis also said that they've got a mountain in front of him. And when you've got a mountain in front of you, you need a different tool to chop it down. And that tool for Francis is having Mike Tyson in his corner. And I've seen a couple people interpret what I'm saying as if I'm trying to like discredit Mike Tyson or saying that Mike Tyson doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I just don't think what Mike Tyson is going to be teaching Francis and Garno is going to be able to transfer over because Mike Tyson has a completely different build, style, body type, and genetic makeup than Francis Ngannou. That peekaboo style worked for Mike Tyson, but it's rare that we see anyone who's tall, 6'4", 6'5", absolutely jacked, do a peekaboo style. But also, this could all be a ploy, and they could be trying to trick Tyson Fury into thinking that Francis Ngannou is going to do this peekaboo style and going to do a lot of close-range stuff, when in fact, they might just try and go for the knockout punch and just focus on long jabs. We did see him sparring like that. He wasn't doing any inside work on the sparring footage that we talked about the other day. It was all regular long jabs and hooks. 
Let me bring in Mike here. Mike, yeah. in the build-up to this, Tyson Fury has said that he's actually going to stand and trade with Francis and Ngannou. He's not, he doesn't plan on boxing and moving. He wants to have it out with him. Is that is that a good idea? Hey, listen, no one takes a better punch than Tyson Fury, but this is a different kind of punch. I don't think anyone's experienced a punch like this, but the fellows in the UFC. So this is going to be a very um, perplexed moment for champ. I also don't think Tyson Fury is going to stand and bang with him. I do think Tyson Fury is going to put the pressure on and dance around a little bit and use his movement to his advantage. Is he just going to stand there in the middle and trade with him? Of course not. Tyson Fury is too smart for that. Are you ready for a different kind of punch, Tyson? I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. Bring it on. I'm being really honest with you guys. Like I've trained for a 12-round war. And if it's anything less, then it's going to be an early night. Mm. And I've been hit by the biggest punches that's ever graced the face of the earth. And I'm still undefeated, I'm still standing, I'm still number one, so... We're going to see what Francis has got inside of him. We're going to see if he's got the guts to stand and trade with a heavyweight champion of the world. We're going to see if he's got the belief in his power. Um, and I'm not convinced. That's good to hear. Seems like Tyson Fury is prepping for an all-out war for 12 rounds. That's how you should always prep anyway, but we know Tyson Fury is going to be coming in here with a good gas tank. He needs to be able to have that endurance and that gas tank because he can't match Francis Ngannou's power. He has to beat him with volume. And what does volume cost? Energy. What does more volume create? Fatigue. Let me ask you this. Normally, say he fights Deontay Wilder, he weighs a lot more than Deontay Wilder. He can, you know, grapple with him, push him down. Can he do that with you? No, absolutely not. And I think, and I hope for him not to have that plan because it's going to go very bad for him. I'll get some wrestling, some wrestling trick for him. That's a good point. When Tyson Fury fought Deontay Wilder, he leaned on him a lot. He worn his arms out. He fatigued Deontay Wilder. Although then again, it wasn't really Tyson Fury. It was Deontay Wilder's suit on the walk to the ring. But if Tyson Fury tries that with Francis Ngannou, it's not going to go good for him because Francis, although he's a striker in MMA, he still has got pretty decent wrestling. We've seen him go five rounds with Cyril Garn and he won that fight through the wrestling exchanges. He stuffed a few takedowns from Stipe Miocic in the second fight. Francis can wrestle and he can clinch a lot better than Tyson Fury and Garner's going to be used to that wrestling and it's not going to fatigue him as much as Tyson Fury thinks yeah, all before me 34 times before what are you going to do not going to do you're no different I can't in the new well. heavyweight champion in the white beard Francis beard beard how come none of your, your credentials the, talk like that come did, on boy that's I can't hear you very well man. the new yeah, champion of Mother Care that's all he'll be What's he say? The new champion of mother care? He can't beat my son. Just be a man and say, you know what? We've come here to try our hardest. But we're messing with the best in I take care of you. I take care of your son and Mike Tyson will take care of you. you How about that? Mike, no, let me tell you, mate. I'm here. I'm here, pal. He's been chasing me for 40 years. Son. He's been chasing me for 40 years. My brother's a friend of coward. <laughs> and I'm not a coward. I'll fight now with any man in the world. That's right. My mother don't bring cowards, and I'm telling you something now. For the best heavyweight in the planet, I must be so much. And don't let underestimate John Fury, because I'll hey man, die all for the it. It's a fight going down in two days. All that talk well, is used to tell. We shall see. Who are you, by the way? We shall see. Who are you? Tell who you are. Who's this man? Hey, you know who the fuck who I am. Who is he? On the black hole, you know who I am. Yeah, At the end of the day, are, we're not here trying to talk. Two days in the world, see. In two days in the world, see. I'm sick of this guy. Francis! 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 Francis, 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 the world. No <laughs> That's the biggest joke you'll ever hear in seeing this great kingdom of Saudi. It's the greatest joke on earth. But I'm, I'm gonna laugh at that one, Mike. Put up at one pal. Come on, man, laugh. Shit. Yeah. No. Wanna relax? Right. Wanna relax? Alright, alright. You've yeah. done too much relaxing, pal. Let's uh let's just get a fight. This press conference might as well not even be for Ngarnu and Tyson Fury. It's John Fury versus Mike Tyson. Just a couple of words each from everyone. In the new heavyweight champ of the world. <laughs> Mike Tyson's wild and a muff. <laughs> <laughs> 2040! He can't be beat! He's on this great king of Saudi! He's on Saudi soil! My son cannot be beat! Get him there, my boy! Get him there, my boy! Get him there! Francis! 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 
I love the belief that John's got in Tyson. Don't we all just want our dads to believe in us like that? Imagine how much we could conquer in this world if every dad gave their son that level of energy. I love it. It's actually inspiring. Like, from an actual father to son side of things, when you remove the spectacle from it, like, come on, it's actually quite endearing. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mike Tyson. Okay. Yes. Right, I'll be glad for you. We've had the final words from Mike Tyson. All day, every day. I'm ready, babe. I'm We've had the final words, I think, from John Fury. Let's just uh, let's just get a final word. I'm not trying to compete, Mike. I'll fight them to the best I can. Start to be more brave. Come on, imagine an actual fight build up between John Fury and Mike Tyson. Like, that would be absolutely hilarious. Say what you want about John, but he's a good promoter. Tyson, final word to you. What's happening on Saturday? I'm going to knock that big stiff spark out. Go on, my son. And there's nothing he can do. Go about on, it. my son. No matter who he trains with, no matter what he brings on the night, I'm knocking you spark out on Saturday night. Game over. Out cold. I no problem. Out cold. I think out cold. Stand up for it. Out cold. Stand up for it. I get knocked spark out. I get Without a doubt, that right hand is going to detonate right in your face, you big ugly dosser. Come on. Put the mic on. I reverse the table to you on the sixth round. Okay? I'm ready and I'm knocking you out. I'm right. ready. I'm ready too. Out cold. I'm more than ready. Oh. Aim over. I'm more than ready. Aim over. I know you have multiple wives. You're going to know what it's like. You're, you're going to know what it feels like, like to get knocked back. You have, you have multiple wives, but you're you're gonna have some of them already. Multiple you're first so don't you worry. Crafted. Okay? Crafted. Yeah. Don't see you on Saturday night. I know you can't punch. Zero power. Okay. Then lift your chin on the way. I'll leave the chin. Lift your chin on the way. You're going to find out if I can punch. See what I mean? Tyson Fury saying, I know you can't punch. You've got zero power. Come on, Tyson. Okay. Leave your chin on the way. It'll be there. You hit it. You hit it. Hey, champ, Mike. You big sausage. Look at him. He's a big fat sausage. <laughs> He's a big fat sausage. Look at Ngaru just looking like an absolute chad. And uh, Tyson Fury's called <laughs> Big Fat Sausage. And all whilst this is going on, you've got John Fury in the background <laughs> just barking like a bulldog non stop. Hey, Tyson, Chip Tyson, look how fat he is. You want my He's not even in shape. He's not even in shape. He's fat, Mike. He's fat. He's a fat sausage. Look at him. Look how fat he is. Yes, I'm fat. Yes, I'm fat, but I can't. You're a fat sausage. You used to knock people out when you were fat. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do it that way. He can't do it that way. That's true. That's true. I'll give him that. That is true. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check out this face off. <laughs> I love it. I actually love it. Dad and lad. Boxing's mad, isn't it? When you watch like boxing press conferences and you compare them to the UFC, boxing's got so much faffing and fluff. UFC, it's just straight to it. <laughs> John Fury, come on, get out the way. <laughs> How many inches difference do you reckon there? It's hard to say from top of the head because obviously France has got a little bit here. But say you look at eye line, what's that? Maybe about like three inch difference, do you think? Yeah, like two to three inches. So Francis Ngarnu is six foot four. That puts Fury around six, 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 seven. What goes to the microphone if you can't hear what they're saying? <laughs> Tyson Fury's probably saying, I'm a fat pig! I'm a fat pig! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, John Fiore getting involved. How long are they going to stand together? Okay, right. Okay, they go apart and then they come back together again. See what I mean about boxing? Yeah, come on, get the physique out. Come on, Ingarno. Get the muscles out. <laughs> I'll get the music off. Hey, right here on the left. 
is the pinnacle of human performance. And on the right, we have someone who is most likely going to lose. Mad to think that, in it? Well, that was really entertaining. I'm hyped up for this fight. Uh, I think it's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to doing a live stream and watching it together and having a little whiskey. There's a few things we can take from this. Tyson Fury didn't really talk that much. John Fury was doing all the talking for him. Francis Ngannou's going in there. He looks very confident. He said that he's going to get the job done within six rounds. If he has a potential to get the job done, it'll be somewhere within six rounds because the chances of Francis Ngannou being able to keep up with Tyson Fury later on in the rounds is going to be low. My official prediction is going to be Tyson Fury by decision. And the reason why I'm going with that is because Francis Ngannou has got a pretty decent chin. We haven't seen him be rocked really apart from in that first Stipe fight and that was more so because he's tired. So the evidence just shows us that Francis Ngannou doesn't get rocked even when he does get cracked, which is rare. We do know Tyson Fury can be rocked and can be put down because we've seen it happen. And also we know that Tyson Fury doesn't possess crazy power like Deontay Wilder or like Francis Ngannou. So I'll take Tyson Fury by decision in this one. I think it's going to be a pretty clear domination. I think Francis will get a few shots off and could even potentially rock Tyson Fury here and there. But I think Tyson Fury will be able to grit it out, maybe lose a round or two. But for the rest of the fight, pretty much dominate him. That's what I'm going to go with. I would like that to be a finish, but this is just what we got saying. So what's your guys' official prediction? Once again, let's give specifics rather than just saying, oh, I think Tyson's going to win or I think Francis is going to win. What is the specific round that you think it's going to end in? Give me some specifics of how you think the fight is going to go and make sure you tune in tomorrow. I'm going to try and start the live stream about 9.30 p.m. So make sure you got those notifications turned on. I'm at a Halloween party in the daytime, so I might actually come on with a skeleton face. Okay, make sure you like the video. Appreciate you all and I'll see you all tomorrow for the live stream. Oh.